All right, welcome back to the channel. In today's short video, I am going to show you a very quick hack in order to make loads of viral social media posts. Now, of course, uh, a lot of my channel, we've been talking about how to actually get traffic using SEO, but we cannot forget about the impact or the potential traffic that we can get using social media. Now, a while back, there was a guy named Josh Vector. He was a growth hacker. I don't know if anybody ever calls himself this anymore, but he had created a amazing PDF and a style of basically viral social media posts. And he created a guide for this, and I had tinkered with it a little bit back in the day, and it worked extremely well. It seems like everybody has kind of forgotten about it, but I'm going to show you how to use Claude 2. You could probably use ChatGPT for this as well, of course. And uh, I like Claude 2 just because of the amount of tokens that we can use. But certainly, again, it might fit within ChatGPT. So the document, I'm going to pull this up here real quick, was called the Copywriting Bible. And it was 100 viral outlines to build your brand. So when we scroll through here, we see that there's just a whole lot of different options for these. And I'm just going to scroll through this real quick to show you kind of how he laid these out. So he goes through and talks about the rationale for these. But essentially, they are very engaging posts that would get a lot of likes and shares. So for example, he has a structure here. And he would start off with something that would call to get people's attention. Here's what makes my day. When I call my mom at 7 a.m., then I wish her the best day ever. My mom has worked almost every day of her life, 12-hour weekdays, even on weekdays, weekends. So essentially, this piece would show up toward the top, and this would be uh, cut off here. You'd have to click the More button, but it would trigger engagement because people would see this beginning part of the post, and then they would need to continue reading and it moves to create a point that is oftentimes emotionally triggering in a positive way for the most part. So these are these different templates that worked really well for him, and he created them in this copywriting Bible. So each one has a specific template. This one, for example, was a major change to pursue your dream. It start off essentially with like a prompt, start with a major change, dig into the pain, blah, blah, blah. So there are a lot of them in here, and they are extremely useful, especially for generating a lot of eyes, engagement, and driving traffic. So here is what I would recommend doing, as you've seen me do a number of different times with using Claude 2, is to grab this PDF and actually upload it into Claude with the area that you want it to focus on. And I've played with this a little bit, and you'll see here I've already done one just for time purposes on the video. I said write 20 viral blog posts on the topic of healthy lifestyle hacks using the following resource to draw inspiration from, and I uploaded the PDF. Now what Claude2 is going to do is going to read that. It's a fairly simple document. And it is going to create those blog post outlines. And you could see that it created them based upon that same style of template. I took a week off from my phone. Here's what happened. That sounds pretty good. The controversial action style, which is I turned my phone off for an entire week. So there's these ones that we're talking about staying away from the phone. Okay, so of course we can get some additional ones. I slept better. My sleep improved dramatically. I fell asleep faster without blue light of screens. So it's very focused on screens. So we'll probably have to prompt it a little differently sometimes if we're getting too much redundancy. But we did get a few ones that are different. I drank celery juice every morning for a month. Here's what happened. Very interesting. So it gave me these blog post ideas. And then what I did Actually, it gave me a whole ton. This is the one that I did, actually, that I told it to say, give me 20. And what it did is, look at this. Claude gave me, I think it stopped at about 129. So that's a lot of ideas. So what I said is, using the document provided as a reference, write a social media post for the first 20 on the list. And what it did is it went through and it gave me a blog post. Now, these were a bit shorter than I would have liked. So what I did is I reprompted because I expect sometimes, again, AI is not going to give me what I want. These are good, but make them a bit longer to draw the reader in and engage them. 
And then what it did is it lengthened them up a bit. So you can take these, and it doesn't look very long, but you have to remember that the way that this is done is to have no more than about one sentence per line on the social post. So you'll have to space this out, and it ends up looking quite long, very much like the viral post template. And in this case, you could see as you read through these, and you should definitely check this out on your own, they are very well written. A lot of personal experience in there. And certainly, if there's something in there that you don't like, you can tweak it. If you're using it for your own personal brand, of course, you can go back through there, make it congruent, make sure there's no false statements or weird things that it is saying, or obviously tailor it toward your unique experience. But this is a very rapid way to get some potentially viral blog posts ideas, but also your social media content. And you can just simply schedule these out add images, stock images, for example, what I've done in the celery one, putting a going to pexels.com or something similar, and then putting a image in there with celery juice to grab people's eyes. And of course, engage them with the post and add a call to action in there. Whether that's just having somebody engage and comment on it, driving them to a Facebook group to build up your lead list or getting them to go somewhere else. But this is a very quick hack. I urge you to take a look at this and be sure to check out that PDF. It is a really good one. And uh, let me know how it works for you. So if you like this video, these kinds of tips, do me a favor, hit the like button down below, comment. Let me know what you think about this kind of process here, what you'd like to see more of. And of course, subscribe to the channel so that anytime a new video pops up that you get notified Click that little bell as well. Super helpful for engagement and uh, getting more reach for my videos. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.